Cloud computing services are transforming how businesses and government agencies use technology. Cloud services are now available to satisfy almost any IT requirement. Although cloud computing services vary greatly, they all have some basic qualities and benefits in common. And they can be classified into a few basic cloud service kinds. Hello everyone, I'm Shamli and I welcome you all to this new video of Simply Learn on cloud computing services. Let me give you an overview of the concepts you are going to go through in this video. First, we will go through what is cloud computing. Then we will have an introduction to cloud computing services. Followed by the types of cloud computing services. And at the end, we will look into the features and benefits of cloud computing services. So let's not waste any more time and get started with the video. So what is cloud computing? Cloud computing is the distribution of cloud computing services by the internet, including servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics, intelligence to provide faster innovation, more flexible resources, and economies of scale. You usually only pay for the cloud services you use, which helps you cut costs, run your infrastructure more efficiently, and scale as your business grows. Now that we know what cloud computing is, let's proceed with understanding cloud computing services. Cloud computing services provide users with a variety of capabilities, including email, storage, backup, data retrieval, app creation, testing, data analysis, audio video streaming, software on demand, regardless of the type of service. Although cloud computing is still a relatively new technology, it is now being used by a wide range of organizations, including large enterprises, small businesses, non-profit government agencies, and even individual consumers. So not all clouds are created equal, and not every sort of cloud computing is appropriate for every situation. A variety of models, varieties, and services have evolved to assist you find the best option for your needs. To begin, one must decide on the type of cloud deployment or cloud computing architecture that will be used to implement your cloud services. Cloud services can be deployed in three different ways, public cloud, private cloud, or hybrid cloud. Now let's dive down deeper into cloud computing services and explore its type in more detail. Cloud computing, unlike a microprocessor, is not a single piece of technology. Rather, it's a system made up of three services. Infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. So let's have a better understanding of each, starting with infrastructure as a service. So what is infrastructure as a service? It is a type of cloud computing that uses the internet, to provide virtualized computing resources. The cloud provider controls IT infrastructures such as storage, server, and networking resources, and also offers them to subscribe companies via virtual machines, accessible over the internet in the IAS model. For businesses, it can provide numerous advantages, including the ability to make tasks faster, easier, more flexible, and less expensive. Now, Let's have a look at the working of IAAS. Users connect to resources and services across a wide area network, such as the internet, and then use the cloud provider services to complete the application stack. The user can, for example, log into the infrastructure as a service platform to build virtual machines, install operating systems in each VM, deploy middleware such as databases, create storage buckets for workloads and backups, and install the enterprise workload onto that virtual machine. Customers can then track cost, monitor performance, balance network traffic, solve application difficulties, and manage disaster recovery using the provider's service. So moving ahead, let's go through its advantages and disadvantages. 
advantages. Organizations select infrastructure as a service because operating a workload without having to buy, manage, and support the underlying infrastructure is frequently easier, faster, and more cost effective. A company can rent or lease infrastructure from another company using infrastructure as a service. For workloads that are transitory, experimental, or change abruptly, it is an effective cloud service paradigm. For example, if a company is creating a new software product, hiring an IEAS provider to host and test the application may be more cost effective. Once the new software has been thoroughly tested and refined, the company can move it away from the IAAS environment and into a more traditional in-house deployment. If the expenses of a long-term commitment are lower, the organization could commit the piece of software to a long-term IAAS deployment. Now disadvantages. Billing can be a challenge for some firms. Despite its flexible pay-as-you-go model, cloud invoicing is quite detailed and it is broken down to reflect specific service usage. When evaluating the invoices for each resource and service involved in application deployment, users frequently experience sticker shock or discover expenses that are greater than expected. Another issue it face is lack of insight because its providers own the infrastructure. The configuration and performance of that infrastructure are rarely transparent to its con consumers. Users may find it more difficult to operate and monitor systems due to the lack of transparency. Users of infrastructure as a service are also concerned about service availability and reliability. The supplier has a big influence on the workloads availability and performance. The workloads of users will be impacted if a provider has network constraint or any other type of internal or external outage. Furthermore, because it is a multi-tenant design, the problem of noisy neighbors might have an adverse effect on users' workloads. So now these are the top infrastructure as a service providers. Linode is a privately held cloud hosting firm based in the United States that offers virtual private servers. Hostwinds, web hosting, cloud hosting, and dedicated server options are all available from Hostwinds. Microsoft Azure is a cloud computing service operated by Microsoft for application. Management via Microsoft Managed Data Centers. DigitalOcean offers developers cloud service that make it easy to deploy and grow programs that run on several machines at the same time. Alibaba Cloud is a cloud computing firm that serves online businesses as well as Alibaba's own e-commerce ecosystem. So the second service is Platform as a Service. What is Platform as a Service? Platform as a Service products which are geared towards Software development teams include computing and storage infrastructure, as well as development platform layer that includes web servers, database management systems, and software development kits for multiple programming languages. Working of platform as a service. For software development, it does not replace an organization's complete IT infrastructure. It's made possible by the hosted infrastructure of a cloud service provider. A web browser is the most common way for users to access the offerings. Platform as a service such as application hosting and Java development can be supplied by a public, private or hybrid clouds. So now let's look into the advantages and disadvantages. Advantages. The main advantage of platform as a service for users is its simplicity and convenience. Much of the infrastructure and other IE services will be provided by the platform as a service provider, which users can access from anywhere via a web browser. 
The flexibility to pay on a per-use basis allows businesses to forego the capital costs associated with on-premises gear and software. Many platform as a service solutions are aimed towards software developers. These platform provider computation and storage infrastructures, as well as text editing, version management, compilation, and testing capabilities to assist developers in swiftly and efficiently developing your software. Coming to the disadvantages, platform as a service, on the other hand, can cause issues with service availability and resilience. Customers may suffer as a result of of a service outage or other infrastructure interruption, which might result in costly productivity losses. Its suppliers, on the other hand, will typically deliver reasonably high uptimes. Another widespread problem is vendor lock-in, which occurs when users are unable to simply transition many of their services and data from one platform as a service solution to another. When choosing a provider, users must consider the business risk of service outages and vendor lock-in. Internal changes to a platform as a service product could also be a problem. The impact on users might be tough and disruptive. If a platform as a service provider ceases supporting a programming language or chooses to use a different set of development tools. So, Let's have a look at the top platform as a service provider. IBM Cloud Computing refers to a set of cloud computing services for businesses provided by IBM, a technology corporation. Red Hat is a collection of tightly integrated Red Hat technologies for building cloud infrastructure and developing cloud native apps on premises. Elastic Beanstalk, AWS Elastic Beanstalk, is an Amazon Web Services application deployment orchestration solution. Salesforce offers CRM services as well as enterprise applications for customer service, marketing, automation, analytics, and application development. And Software AG Cloud is an open and independent cloud platform that serves as your one-stop shop for all software AG has to offer in the cloud. Now coming to the next service, which is Software as a Service. So what is Software as a Service? Customer Relationship Management or CRM, Marketing Automation and Business Analytics are just a few of the application level services offered by Software as a Service companies. So how does it work? The provider gives consumers network-based access to a single copy of an application that the provider designed expressly for software as a service distribution in the software on demand model. The source code for the program is the same for all clients and new features or functionalities are rolled out to all the users at the same time. The data of each model's customer may be stored locally in the cloud or both locally in the cloud, depending on the service level agreement. Coming to its advantages, customers sub subscribe to a software as a service solution rather than buying and installing software or additional gear to support it. Many firms can now budget more effectively and predictably by converting costs to recurrent operating expenses. You can also cancel software as a service subscriptions at any time to avoid incurring recurring fees. Its systems are frequently customizable and can be connected with other corporate applications, particularly when using software for the same vendor. Vertical scalability is a feature of cloud services like software as a service, which allows clients to access more or fewer services or features on demand. Disadvantages of software as a service. When providers indoor service delays impose undesirable modifications to service offerings or suffer a security breach, all of these things can have a significant impact on customers. Ability to use the software as a service offering. Customers should be aware of their software as a service providers 
SLA and ensure that it is followed. If the provider adopts a new version of an application, it will roll it out to all of its clients, whether or not they want it. This may need the organization allocating additional training time and resources. Switching vendors can be tough as it is with any cloud service provider. Customers must migrate massive volumes of data when switching vendors. Furthermore, some vendors use technologies and data types which can make transferring client data between cloud providers even more difficult. So coming to the top companies that provide software as a service, Adobe is a collection of Adobe incorporation programs and services that provide user with access to software for graphic design, video editing, web development, and photography, as well as a set of mobile apps and certain optional cloud services. SAP is a platform as a service designed by SAP SE for developing new application and enhancing existing ones in a secure cloud computing environment managed by SAP. Google Cloud. Google Cloud Platform is a set of cloud computing services provided by Google that run on the same infrastructure as Google's internal products such as Google Search, Gmail, Drive, and YouTube. Freshworks Cloud Platform allows users to manage their identities and access across all of their Freshworks products. And Atlassian, advanced features such as an 99.9% .9 uptime SLA, unlimited storage, and premium support provide teams the confidence to scale reliably. Now that we have all the in-depth information about different types of cloud computing services, let's move ahead and explore its benefits and features, which makes it so popular and convenient. First, the supplier hosts and maintains the site in their own facility. The cloud hosting provider acquires hosts and maintains the necessary hardware and software. Users avoid the construction expenditures and maintenance problem that would be incurred if the service was established on premise. Second, self service using a web based interface. Through a web interface, service users can initiate certain service functions as well as increase or reduce their service consumption level with little or no intervention from the service provider. Third is, you must pay to utilize the facility. Users of the service only pay for the services they use. When compared to the typical method of building on-site IT cap capacities targeted for the highest usage situations and then having that capacity to go unused for the most of the time, this can result in significant cost savings. And the fourth one is scalability that comes close to being infinite. Cloud computing service providers usually have the infrastructure in place to deliver their services at a large scale. That means that cloud service consumers can readily accommodate business expansion or periodic surges in service usage. Well, this is all about cloud computing services. We have almost reached the end of this video. If I missed anything important, do let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video on cloud computing services and learned something new from it. If you like this video, then please do hit the like button. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates and videos from Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.